Hello children. Today we are going to study a lesson in which we will see a good friendship between the four friends. A friend in need is a friend indeed. In this story, we see how the four friends are con concerned with each other and how each one of them help one another in their problems. The name of the chapter is The Four Friends. In a forest, there lived four friends. They were a deer, a tortoise, a crow and a mouse. Every evening, they met, they talked, ate and laughed. One day, the tortoise and the mouse sat nibbling on fruits, shrubs and leaves. Here the meaning of nibbling is eating small bites of something. Wonder where our friends deer and crow are, said the tortoise. Just then the crow came flying in. There's trouble, he said. What happened, dear crow? Are you fine? asked the tortoise. I am fine, friend, but dear is in trouble, said the crow. Dear is trapped in a hunter's net. We have to rescue her. Now here the meaning of rescue means to save someone. The tortoise had an idea. He said, Mouse, my friend, hop quickly onto crow's back. Go there and nibble on the net and free deer. And the crow flew off with the mouse to free the deer. Now children, let us understand the story. Long time Ago, in a jungle, lived four friends, a deer, a tortoise, a crow, and a mouse. They all spent most of the time together. Every evening, they met, they talked, ate, and laughed. One day, as usual, Everyone gathered at the usual place, but the deer did not turn up. All the other friends were very worried. The tortoise asked the crow to go and find out why the deer did not turn up. So the crow flew away in search of the deer. He searched everywhere. Finally, he found the deer trapped in a hunter's net. The deer was crying out for help. The crow was shocked to see his friend in danger. Children, when our friend is in danger or in a trouble, then what should we do? We should help him or her, isn't it? Yes. So children, the crow went back to his other friends and informed them. They all decided to send the mouse to cut the net with his teeth. The crow carried the mouse on his back and flew to the deer and the tortoise followed them. Once they reached the spot, the mouse started nibbling the net. It didn't take long for the mouse to free the deer. Just then the tortoise reached the spot. Why did you come here? If the hunter returns, you never escape, 
the deer cried. Just then, the crow saw the hunter coming towards them. Run! The hunter is on his way, he said. All of them ran away, but the tortoise was too slow. The hunter picked him up and tied him up. Now our friend tortoise is in trouble, said the deer. The deer ran to the pond and lay down on the path. The hunter saw the deer. He thought it was dead. What will I do with the tortoise? I'll take the deer, said the hunter to himself. The hunter went near the deer, but the crow darted towards the hunter and pecked at the hunter's eyes. Here, children, the meaning of darted means flew quickly. Meanwhile, the mouse quickly cut the cords and freed the tortoise. The meaning of cords means ropes. Finally, the hunter gave up and ran away. The four friends were happy to be together again. The mouse began to cut the net with the help of his teeth. Soon the deer was free and by that time the hunter came back. The crow flew up to a tree. The mouse hid himself behind the tree. The deer ran far away, but the tortoise could not move fast. The hunter caught hold of him and tied him in a net. Now the other friend was in danger. The deer thought of an idea. He stood in the path of the hunter to attract him. As soon as the hunter saw the deer, he dropped the net and ran to catch the deer. In the meantime, the mouse cut open the net and saved the tortoise. The deer ran fast and escaped from the hunter. The hunter came back and saw the net empty. Now the four friends went back together happily. Now the moral of this story is united we stand Divided we fall. So children, I hope you all must have understood this lesson. Do revise it at home. Thank you and God bless you all.